So it's uh, June 28th, uh, and I'm here in Guelph. Uh, Stonehenge is uh, celebrating its 40th year, and I uh, was invited uh, to attend the festivities along with my uh, good buddy uh, Gus. Um, Stonehenge Therapeutic Center is the place I went to uh, back in 1986 to get uh, clean and serene. Uh, and stayed there for two years and after 88 after graduating from there and Stonehenge by the way is about maybe uh, five kilometers just outside of Guelph on a farm uh, after graduating in 1988 I came to live at this house uh, this beautiful house here which became my uh, residence uh, for the next 12 years and there's literally a ton of memories uh, in this house uh, I lived on the second floor, it's a gigantic house, and uh, during the time I lived here, um, I used to bring some friends that were uh, hoping to get also clean and serene. I used to bring them here to sober up here and then bring them into the very beautiful active uh, Guelph lifestyle by uh, uh, doing a lot of biking, jogging. Uh, tennis playing and you know I, I would whip them uh, back into shape and hopefully they, they would find their uh, uh, their serenity and get their life back and uh, resume their their, their life and uh, uh, so this house does bring a lot of memories and if we go up the street here uh, there's a park that we used to uh, uh, go to a lot and I'll show you in a few minutes Okay, so back to the park, which is only about a half a block away from my house. Uh, used to do a lot of stuff in this park. There's a tennis court, which I don't think you can... You can probably just see the outsides of it. Uh, right there. And played a lot of tennis. Uh, did a lot of things here. With, when people came here, especially, we would get our bikes out. Uh, uh, cycle through Guelph, uh, mountain bike some other places. We, there's a lot of places just outside of Guelph uh, that uh, have a lot of uh, wild nature in it. And, you know, uh, we did a lot of things uh, during the time I was here. A very active, very active living here. This is a university. Uh, city, but it's it's got so much old flavor. It's got that old-fashioned uh, uh, kind of town-like uh, feeling here as well. Uh, most of the shops, when you go downtown, are sort of like medieval-looking kind of shops, and you could see all the old structures of the houses. That this one, especially, always was a, a nice one. But so many of the houses that were built here were. You know, you could tell, you could tell it's an old city. Um, so, from 1988, when I started living here, I had a ton of uh, memories, including uh, the time that, uh, in 1980, 1992, uh, was a, uh, just, just before, just as winter was finishing, and, uh, uh, late March, early uh, April, uh, I was on my way to the doctor's office in 1992, uh, late March, early April, and uh, uh, I wanted to get my uh, yearly medical checkup, and I was told that they're, they're, they wanted to check something further out with my blood, and so I remember going to the doctor's office that morning, to find out what was wrong in my blood. I mean, everything was going great in my life. I was feeling great. I looked great. Um, but they thought they seen something in my blood. So that morning, I remember I went to the uh, doctor's office. And just like any other morning, uh, doing what I usually do in Guelph, between work, between my activities, uh, between my uh, volunteer work, um, I went to go see the doctor that morning. And I came away with the news uh, that I had terminal liver disease and I probably had about two years left to live. And there was no treatment 
and I didn't know about organ transplants at that time, so it wasn't revealed to me that that would be the only thing that could save my life if I could have got on the waiting list, which was uh, almost just as impossible. So that morning after receiving that news, I remember coming back here to my house where I was living <clears throat> and going up uh, to my room trying to digest what I just heard, that I only had a couple of years left to live. And uh, two years later, three years later, in 1995, I got the call. Three years later, in 1995, in, in, uh, on August, uh, August the 3rd, it was two in the morning, I got the call here that a liver was available and to come to Toronto for the transplant. And that morning, two in the morning, August 3rd, 1995, I remember my friend Marino drove me and we got onto the Highway 401 and on our way to Toronto uh, where the transplant happened at Toronto General Hospital and as a result my life was saved and step by step was born and from 1995 till today there's there's been uh, 16 years of journey um, since I received that life but it all started here so I thought I would get some footage here to give you an idea of this marvelous journey that is still ongoing as you well know as we're trying to get uh, Ismail here and have his his late son Othman breathe new life into the torch to keep it going as we go along so Anyways, thought I'd share this uh, with you while I was here in Guelph. One day we'll come back and, and get more pictures, but over and out.